I'm uh, Diogo Montero. I'm based in Newcastle University, and this is Mark uh, Randall. And uh, we're going to try to do a double acting here because uh, Mark has done a lot of work on this project, and so we, we owe a lot to him. So I thought we'd give him the platform. Uh, so let's see how it, this works. So uh, this was a, a, a project that uh, came together with different universities um, and, and also uh, some, some people from SDFC, but also from a company that joined sort of middle of the project, Imagine 3D. And uh, really, uh, I should acknowledge uh, Charlotte and Julie Cran, who really kind of started up with the idea and then sort of we kind of tagged along a bit. Um, and really, the vision in here is of this digital twin is to kind of develop some sort of a platform whereby we could project future health status based on current uh, patterns of, 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 of diet consumption. Um, so and the idea here is that a lot of the, the, the consequences of your bad habits, let's put it this way, uh, are not visible immediately. But in, in, in certain instances, they accumulate over the time. And, uh, and if you don't take into account those, you know, you might be, find yourself in a very tricky situation down the line. Um, so, so with this, we, the idea is that if we somehow could project to the present uh, what the likelihood of, of a certain uh, uh, outcome of your health, of a certain pattern of consumption, maybe then you would see it and maybe that would be an extra motivator for you to do something about it. So that was the vision. Um, and uh, why is it important? You know, we know that a lot of, uh, of, of, of current diets uh, are, are particularly uh, responsible for, for a number of, of diseases, particularly uh, cardiovascular diseases. Uh, and these are, are have significant costs in the UK, but also worldwide. About, uh, uh, um, in the UK, about 7 million people are affected by these type of diseases, and about 150,000 uh, deaths could be avoided if we could do something about it. Um, there's a huge cost to the, to the NHS, about 7.4 billion pounds, uh, but also there's why the cost of the economy, because a lot of people uh, can't work or they will suffer some sort of condition, so the, the, the economic uh, uh, implications are, are much wider than that, the indirect implications. And, but also, we found uh, that, uh, um, and if you read a bit about it, that there are certain groups that are more at risk uh, of developing these diseases, and a lot of them are, are, are related directly to, to, uh, to diets. Um, so really, with the amount uh, of time and, and money that we had, and given that we were forming uh, a new team, and uh, as, as it was indicated previously, I mean, one of the problems that we have immediately is trying to find a common language and learn from each other. So we spent a bit of time uh, 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 figuring out where we're going. And, and, and in fact, we had to you know, kind of tame a bit our, our ambitious way, uh, aims in the, in the beginning. So really what we, we, we did in this project was to try to do a feasibility study. Is this feasible at all? Can we actually develop this type of technology? Um, the second aim in here we really haven't touched at all uh, is to understand whether such a tool would actually motivate anybody. We haven't really done that, I'm sorry. Um, but then we did identify some types of diets that are directly related to well-identified um, cardiovascular diseases. So that we were able to do. And that allows us to start focusing a bit more going, moving forward. And then also we, we did try to see if there were any devices or any tools that were already existing in the market doing a similar type of, of, of function. And we couldn't really find this, uh, but we need to kind of check more. So, Mark, can you talk us a bit about yeah. so tasks? You got the uh, nice one after the uh, Yeah, so I'm just going to go through the tasks, individual tasks that we sort of did uh, during this scoping project. Um, so we all sort of first met in uh, June to sort of discuss what we wanted from the concept of uh, My Digital Twin. Uh, obviously, a multidisciplinary team, so there was a lot of sort of talking and you know, cutting the fat kind of stuff to do. Uh, so we refined the concept of My Digital Twin, which is an app which uh, projects long-term health consequences of your current dietary intake onto a digital avatar. So kind of envisioning an a, a avatar maybe gaining weight or something, or you know, more specifically looking at the sort of biological processes that go on because of certain um, intake of certain macronutrients, such as uh, saturated fats and... Um, and um, yeah, so we did. Uh, we first did the uh, scoping project. 
We also wanted to uh, see if these apps are, you know, if there's similar apps available currently. So we did a due diligence exercise. Um, we conducted a review on the sort of financial and health implications of non-communicable diseases and the impact of intakes of uh, high fat, high sugar, uh, high salt foods. Uh, and then we also attended the N8 Agri-Food Conference on uh, creating uh, sustainable and healthy food systems. Uh, so we met with Imagine 3D, who's a firm who's previously worked with STFC um, and used their sort of capabilities and sort of connections. So we had a meeting with these during the conference who sort of uh, showed us some previous work, what they've done, which is, uh, was used in sort of educational purposes. So this is uh, avatar eating, and you can sort of see um, as the food goes down the GI tract, and then um, next to that uh, box is the close-up of the sort of microbiological processes going on within the bloodstream. So these also confirmed um, the sort of individual personalization aspect of what we wanted. You know, if we have someone's current dietary intake, could we show, you know, the health term consequences in this sort of way? And they confirmed that that is a possibility given the data. Um, so our uh, diet and nutrition review as well found uh, CBD events, um, what I was saying earlier about, you know, this is a sort of pressing need. Uh, there was a recent second report in August um, released, which was, uh, you know, establishing a link between um, saturated fat intake and non-communicable diseases. Um, so... Uh, we also, during the uh, NA conference, we um, established that there's academic and uh, private interest, industry in uh, interest. So this is using digital technology to support health and sort of behavior change. And sort of um, this conference was on the role of that media in you know, promoting health behaviors. Uh, and then during our due diligence exercise as well, um, we found there's no similar tools in the marketplace. There's things that use similar sort of ideas, uh, but nothing that encompasses the breadth and depth of uh, our sort of concept. Uh, so uh, we also identified some STFC contributions that could come in useful further down the line of this project. These sort of uh, linking with big, uh, big data analy uh, analytics, uh, the complex image modeling um, and data security. So we've seen uh, STFC have worked with NHS in sort of projects around Liverpool uh, using sort of big data to help streamline the patient process as well as identify individuals with um, uh, diseases to sort of uh, identify people at risk using sort of microbiome uh, data, that kind of thing. So I'll uh, pass it on to you now. So, so we'll, we can identify a few key challenges moving forward. One is really to identify what are realistic, clear patterns of, of linkages between um, health in, uh, sorry, um, food intake and, and, and diseases. So if we're going to do this, we need to really have a very clean, smooth pass. Otherwise, we, there's a lot of uncertainty that comes in, in here. And so we actually might, might, might do more harm more warm than, than good. And then for this, we need a lot of data and, and precise data. So we need to kind of figure out uh, the, the right granularity of data to, to support this system. So that's something that, that needs to be, be tested. And then, of course, we need to identify which audience would be more suitable to, 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 to use this type of avatar. Uh, initially, we thought, well, everybody would use it. But actually, if you think a bit about it, we might need to start even with a, a, with a more uh, specific population. Uh, so I guess the next steps is to really partner with, with uh, three, uh, Imagine 3D and, and SDC and, and try to, to get a small pilot, develop this, 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 this technology and test it with some people uh, and of course uh, maybe work with, with also practitioners and some groups more at risk uh, and then eventually uh, if this goes right then be a bit more ambitious and actually try to develop this tool uh, and we identified a few potential funders. So uh, we would be more than welcome to hear comments, <laughs> suggestions, uh, questions. Uh, so. Thank you so much.